Hi, I'm Kenzie. And I'm Joey. And this is our self-converted Sprinter van. Our van is a 2010 Mercedes Sprinter 3500 Dually. We do have the 170 inch wheelbase, so it is the bigger version that Mercedes makes. We bought our Sprinter in March of 2018. We spent about three months converting it, and we've been living in it for about two months. If you guys are interested in the details of our build, we'll go ahead and take you inside for a tour. So when you first walk in the van, we've got our light switch on a dimmer so that it controls our six LED lights on our ceiling. If you come on in, one of the first things we installed was our fantastic fan. We went with more of a basic model than some of the nicer ones, so it's only got uh, one direction, one speed. Um, it's three speeds. Sorry, three speeds. This was a cargo van, so there's no windows. The next thing we installed was this window, which was fun, cutting big holes in the van. A little bit scary. We've got our Ramblewood two burner propane stove. Our propane is mounted underneath the van. We made our own mounts and propane. Our Dometic fridge, we'll link the, the model number in the description, I forgot what it is right now. So a little bit about our fridge. Most van lifers we've seen that have an upright fridge typically go with a smaller model. It's about 50 liters that I've seen in most vans. Um, we decided to go with a bigger one. So ours is about twice the size. It's about a 100 liter fridge. The reason we decided to do that is because I'm cooking all the time. Um, and to me, it's really important to be able to have lots of ingredients on hand to whip up gourmet food whenever. And it also allows us to go uh, quite a few more days without having to shop, which is super nice. It's been really efficient as far as we can tell, so we haven't had any, any problems with that, you know, as far as having a bigger fridge. So this was actually one of the most expensive appliances we have in here, um, but to us, it's been totally worth it. So it's really empty right now. We're getting ready to fly out somewhere, so the van will be sitting for a minute. But um, we have a freezer in here, which is the best because it totally fits a pint of ice cream. And what's more important than that? The essentials. The essentials, of course. So we love this guy. All right, so this wall here is actually a really fun feature of the kitchen. Um, this is just a piece of three quarter inch ply that we put up and we painted it with chalkboard paint. So you can see the drawings I have right now. It's October if you couldn't tell. Um, but it's kind of fun because we can just wipe it off and you know draw whatever we want, decorations, grocery lists, it's kind of fun. Um, we also installed a magnetic knife rack, which we love just because then we don't have to store all that stuff in a drawer. Um, we haven't had any issues with any knives flying off while we're driving, which is great. We were a little nervous about that, but we haven't had problems with it. Okay, this is probably my favorite thing. This is our nice spice jars that are magnetic. Um, this is another great way to not only you know, save space in like an upper cabinet without having to store spices up there. But it's also kind of fun to be able to display them and then have them just super easily at your disposal. So our countertops are actually from Ikea. Um, so it's like a, I think an eighth of an inch of solid dark walnut on top, but then the, the rest of the bulk of this countertop is actually a particle board. So that did make it a bit more cost efficient. Um, I think in the future, if we do another van build, I would like to do a solid piece of butcher block. Uh, reason being is that for these holes that we cut here, like for our for our sink and for our stove top, it exposed that, uh, that particle board. So we had to be really, really careful in making sure that we sealed it up because if any water were to get in there, it would expand the um, inside of it and possibly crack the countertop. So we made it work for us. We think they're really pretty, we like them. In the future, we'd probably go with something different, but they work for now. All right, so this set of drawers um, has been great for lots of extra storage in the kitchen. Um, we built everything from scratch, so all these drawers are made out of half inch plywood and then they're faced with three quarter inch MDF. Um, so we have nice, sturdy, soft closed drawer slides on these. We felt that they were, um, just better quality and uh, nicer than like the bottom mount drawer slides, but does work as well. So we have um, catches on these to make sure that we don't have any drawers coming out while we're driving. 
So we just found these on Amazon. There's a piece that attaches to the face of the drawer and then another piece that attaches here so that they just clip in and they're nice and sturdy and they won't go anywhere. So they take a bit of effort to pull in and out, but that way, you know, you don't have stuff flying around while you're driving. Everyone's always kind of curious where we store all our stuff in such a small space. So we'll give you a peek inside these drawers to see, show you where all of our stuff goes. So in this chop drawer here, we just have all of our utensils like you'd find in a normal kitchen. Um, so all, all of our um, cooking utensils and you know, random miscellaneous stuff, measuring cups. In the second drawer, we keep um, like dish towels, um, some like smaller bowls. We have our trash bags in here, sushi roller, cause you know, that's important. And I also keep my essential oils in here. It just seemed like, you know, it was a good place for it because there was a little extra room in here. So when you live in a van, you find that sometimes you put random things with, you know, other random things, but that's where they fit, so it's fine. So these are deeper drawers down here. So this one actually has all of our, our like heavier dishes. So we have some plates down here, um, some bowls, our lovely coconut bowls. I love these so much. And then we also have like some little storage containers, mason jars. Right. All right, and then our bottom drawer is a very deep and hefty drawer, and that's where we keep all of our, um, you know, big pots and pans. But we still need some more pots and pans because we literally only have a Dutch oven and a pan. So that's our drawers. So when you come to our overhead cabinets in the kitchen, this one right here mostly has food in it. We keep all like our canned stuff, so our beans. Um, we have way too many chia seeds. We have this plus like a whole nother giant mason jar of them. I don't know why. Nutritional yeast, cause you know that's important. Um, you know, oil, vinegar, and rice. It just random groceries go up there pretty much. This one right here is kind of like the cabinet that I imagine you would have like over a coffee station in a house. So it has all of our all of our mugs um, and our reusable cups that we use on the daily, all of our tea, um, my French press. Joey doesn't drink coffee, so that's all me. And then I keep my coffee back here. And honestly, this whole cabinet has lots of extra space if we needed to store more stuff, we definitely could. Um, so that's all that is. Also, you'll notice that all of our little knobs on every single cabinet is different. Fun fact about that, <laughs> Joey actually bought these for me. Um, the December before we bought our van just because I found them in World Market and I liked it and I mentioned that they'd be awesome in our van that we were gonna build one day and so he bought these for me before we even bought the van. So we opted for a bigger sink. This is an actual kitchen sink. Um, reason we decided to do that um, is because we really value being able to wash bigger dishes in here and to not have to struggle to wash like a big pot. For us it's just you know, it's worth giving up a little extra counter space to have the bigger sink. So this one is a granite composite. Um, it, I believe it's from the company Kraus. We bought it on Amazon. We'll link it because basically everything in this van is like Amazon, Home Depot, and Ikea. So yeah, but we really love it. It holds up nicely. It's got garlic flakes. It's, it's fine. Okay, so underneath our sink is actually where we store our fresh water supply. Uh, we originally did want to do a bigger tank underneath the van. Um, we decided against that for a couple reasons. Number one is that in order to refill it, we would actually have to find somewhere where we can attach a hose um, to the tank and fill it up. Also because it would be subjected to temperature changes, so in the summer it would be really, really hot and if we go anywhere where it's freezing, that water could potentially freeze. Um, so we decided we'd be better off having it inside and we've actually found it really helpful to be able to just undo the spongy and take this out and fill them up pretty much wherever and put them back in pretty easily. So we actually attach um, quick disconnects to both of these and that's just attached to some braided nylon hose that the water runs through. Um, but it's really nice because we can just pop this out and then attach it to the other tank once this one's empty um, and then we refill. We have a Sureflow water pump um, and that's what draws the water from these. And then that goes through our water ionizer, which filters it and also can change the pH of it. So this goes uh, from our drain, and there's another braided nylon hose here. So water that drains from the sink goes through here, and it actually goes out through the bottom of the van, and we have a five gallon gray water tank down there. 
Um, and then attached to that water tank we have a motorized ball valve and so we actually have a switch in here which we haven't permanently mounted yet so it's not very pretty but we can switch this and open up that ball valve and empty our water um, and we can also attach the hose to that if we are able to. And then this is Joey's soda stream because yeah. he's addicted to carbonation. That wasn't my idea, he bought that. This is where we keep our trash can. It's super convenient to have it on the door because um, you can just pop it out. Bada bing, bada boom. Exactly. All right, going from our kitchen, go to our toilet cabinet. So, when we have to go to the bathroom, we just lift this guy up on this hook. We've got a little basket in here with all of our towels, our toiletries, some miscellaneous our toilet stuff. Paper. <laughs> um, we just move the, the, these doors open and then <laughs> you don't need to we demonstrate do business. <laughs> Mind you, there's not a lot of privacy with this, so it's usually like, hey, I gotta pee, get out of the van. Take a hike. So we've got a nature's head composting toilet, which has actually been really nice. It separates solids and liquids. Uh, the solids compost in a peat moss that we use. There's uh, two little fans that bring in, bring in air and push air outside of the van that we've got a hole going out the bottom to the back of the van. Uh, so we haven't really had any smell problems, which has been really nice. So welcome to the back of the van. So we've got our table on our legume table mount, which has been awesome. It just kind of moves in and out of the way. We can slide it out in case we want to go walking through the back of the van. You know, towel. <laughs> so the table actually co comes off the mount and sits on these the lips right here. And these four cushions come down into our king size bed, which we'll show you later. This is what it looks like underneath our benches. We've got our Renergy 2000 watt inverter. It's a charge controller, inverter, converter all in one. So when we plug into shore power, it actually can charge our 12 volt batteries and it inverts power, inverts 12 volt power to run all of our 120 sockets. So we plug in our laptop, Vitamix, whatever, which has been awesome. Um, if you move back here, we've got our some of our winter clothes, more miscellaneous storage. We've got our toolbox, bunch of stuff. We've got our 120 fuse box right here, which is removable if we need to work on it, which is pretty nice. Uh, moving back here, we've got our two Renogy 100 amp hour <laughs> AGM batteries uh, running all of our 12 volt, all of our 12 volts on individual fuses. We've got them all labeled. We've got our solar coming in from here. We've got two 100 watt solar panels from Renergy. So this is what our other bench looks like. This one is pretty much solely storage. So this is where we keep our bin, where we put our dirty laundry. Um, this is where we keep all of our bedding. So we have our sheets, our pillows, the blankets, comforters. Um, and then we also have a, a bin back there that keeps our shoes and some of our extra grocery bags. So when we first show people the van, there's typically a few questions that we get asked almost every single time without a doubt. Um, the first one being, where the heck do we park? So for time being, we are pretty much stationary in Mesa. And so we have my dad here, we have his parents here. A lot of time we're over there hanging out anyway. So we end up just kind of parking out in front of their house. We really can kind of be wherever is not illegal, if that makes sense. <laughs> yeah, just wherever so, we're hanging out, wherever we want. Yeah, yeah, so that means we could kind of be parked along a street as long as we're not disturbing anybody or trespassing on any property. Yep. Yeah. And then I would say the other question um, that we get probably like the second most is where do we shower? So you notice we don't have a shower in the van. Um, we have a gym membership and so that's how we shower. Yeah, motivates us to go to the gym go work out for an hour or two and then go, go take a yeah. shower. And then we get our shower <laughs> and we do that regularly and we're not too stinky if we do that. 
I would say another question we get is why do we choose the layout that we did? When we were building our van, our number one priority was really to have the most living space and for it to be really comfortable. Um, as opposed to other vans that will have a fixed bed and a big garage space. I think that's really awesome for people who are, they have like a hobby or a sport, like they're avid mountain bikers or snowboarders or something where they have a lot of gear. We don't, we like doing those things, but not enough to justify making our whole build around storing stuff, if that makes sense. So if we're gonna go out and do something, we're probably gonna opt to rent the gear. Um, and then have our van be more of a comfortable living space. The other reason is we really love being able to actually like have people in the van and have dinner because our benches will fit easily three to four people on each bench and we've had eight people in the van at once. Yeah, and comfortably. We had dinner and yeah, it was fun. <laughs> yeah, and so we really enjoy that. Um, you know, we also don't have like a big closet or a huge dresser and we really just have our clothes in like a an overhead cabinet and again it's like Obviously storage is important, but for us it wasn't the most important thing to just maximize our storage and sacrifice living space. Yeah, we really just so. wanted to have the maximize our open living space as much as we could. Yeah, there are things that we still want to continue to upgrade. So like for example, because we bought our, our van as a cargo van, there were no windows in it. So you saw that we put the one in the kitchen and we do have plans to put more windows in it. So we are gonna put windows in the back doors and then I think we're gonna put um, like a, a T vent window on this sliding door, which would be really nice for some extra, mm -hmm. extra ventilation in here. The other thing we want to do is put a swivel mount on this passenger seat over here, which would be really nice to be able to have an extra seat where someone can sit and hang out while we're cooking dinner. Mostly gonna be me. Mostly watching be you. you cook. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. That's how it goes. <laughs> yeah, and then an S bar heater we eventually want to put in too. But luckily we live in Phoenix, so our winters are incredibly mild. Um, <laughs> winters. <laughs> Our loads are like 50 degrees, so yeah, it hasn't been bad. bad at all. But we we do want to travel, and we have family that live in colder places, so it would be nice to still have the option to, to go to those places comfortably and not really have a problem with it, in that sense. So. Yeah, just like a house, it'll never be done. There's always projects to always do. Always things to fix and upgrade. And I'm in the middle of building a roof rack, so that'll be on yeah. soon, hopefully. Yeah, the roof rack will be great. Um, we're going to kind of remount our... Our solar panels right now they're mounted in the back um, when we have the roof rack up I think we're gonna mount them in between our our vent fan and our AC and then we'll have um, the the back portion of that roof rack will be kind of open if we need to put a storage box up there we can truthfully I don't know that we'll need one it'll be nice he to reorganize we need one. Yeah, I don't I think, think so. we need one I don't surfboards. know surfboards surfboard rack we have a surfboard yes. so it'll be it's nice really the main live. reason why we're building it. yeah <laughs> But this is what it is right now. We've been in it like this for two months. We love it. Um, we know there's always gonna be things to, to make it better, but you know, we'll do that over time. So guys, that's pretty much our van. We absolutely love it. Uh, we plan on living and traveling in it for as long as we enjoy it. So yeah, thanks guys for sticking around and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.